Hey, Herf. What's up? You know, you know what I heard? What? What'd you hear? Half of people that are watching this video right now are not subscribed. Bruh. Subscribe. What is up, everybody? It's your boy Herf here, back on the Duel Links Entertainment Channel, and today we have we got a new update, and we have two new uh, roaming events available to us. So, just to kind of go through both of them as they appear in my ongoing events thing, we're gonna do the first one that we got is Mission Research. So basically, the format of this event is you're going to get these uh, see this little thing here, you're gonna get all of these investigation reports from you and then requests from other players which you can either accept or decline and then so you just need to defeat standard duelists and then you'll get this and then you have a cumulative reward which we'll go through here which is honestly not that good like the rewards are pretty bad we get another soundproof this is a pretty good card I think okay yeah so this card is actually really good and it's definitely worth getting this card is called Soundproofed. We got one copy in the last event, so it's really important to get another copy of this event. But it says, This card can only be activated at the start of main phase 1, and only if you control no face-up synchro monsters. Neither player can special summon a synchro monster until the opponent's next end phase. So, this card is super, super powerful against pretty much any synchro-based deck. So, this is basically like a heat wave, but only for synchro monsters. And the reason why that's important is because, let's say I'm going against like TGs or even Blue Eyes, something like that, and I know Spirit, or I know like the TG combo or whatever is, you know, really detrimental to my combo, but I'm still playing a Heat Wave, which locks out my turn as well. Let's say I'm playing, I don't know, let's say I was playing, uh, what do you even call them? Oh, yeah, let's, let's say I was playing Cyber Dragons. Cyber Dragons did play Heat Wave, or Dark Magician did play Heat Wave, but now, in order to stun their opponent, they could just play this, because you don't Synchro anyways. You could just play this to lock your opponent out of Synchroing, and then OTK them through an open board, which is actually really degenerate. So this card is actually going to be a really important side deck card, in my opinion, in the future of Duel Links. So, really nice. For sure, you should get it. Now, going on to the next one. Alchemic Magicians. This is the first time she has been introduced. I got a lolly, so it's obviously valuable and she get one. But uh, this card gains 200 attack for each spell card in your graveyard. Once per turn during your end phase, you can detach one Xyz material from this card and send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Choose one spell card from your deck and then set it in your spell and trap card zone. So, two big problems with this. A, it requires three level four spellcaster monsters. So, currently not really a deck that can do that. Second of all, it's just kind of problematic because you can only do it in your end phase. So, you're going to have to put like a quick play there. And if you put a quick play there, and it, it's just very situational. So, technically you can search. We now have a searcher for enemy controller, which is really nice. However, it comes at a huge cost, as it should, and the stats are only 15-15, so it's not very good. Like, the Alchemic Magician, very underwhelming. I think the biggest, or the most important part about uh, this event is going to be the second copy of Soundproofed. Really good card. Make sure you get it. It's honestly pretty easy. I just kind of play the game, and then whenever I have requests for assistance, I just request, and then I go up. It's it's really easy, honestly. Uh, but yeah, so make sure you get your second copy of Soundproofed. So that'll just about wrap it up for the first one. The second roaming event we got is Primo has come to Duel World. And Primo was one of the Mechlord dudes. Uh, he's kind of a, an annoying dude. He, he wasn't very nice. He's pretty mean. Wanted to eat up Synchro Monsters. But he has some very, very interesting cards. So we can just go through. I believe I don't know if all of these are new or not. 
But Divergence says that once per chain, when an opponent's monster declares an attack that targets your machine type monster, you can target one other mo machine type monster you control and change that attack target to that target. So notice how it doesn't say once per turn, it says once per chain. That means, like, let's say I'm playing something like Ancient Gears, and I have like a reactor and something else on the field. Uh, every time you attack, I can switch it to Reactor Dragon. Kind of broken. Uh, however, it's only once per chain, so if they swing, you use Divergence, and then they use like something like Forbidden Lance on their monster, you can't Divergence again. So, it's once per chain, but not once per turn. Which is really good. Honestly, not it not being once per turn is really, really crazy in my opinion. But anyways, Dimension Fortress Weapon. Cards cannot be sent from the deck to the graveyard. So honestly, it's not the craziest card in the world. However, it's just a really odd floodgate that they decided to include into the game. Like Quarantine was in the game. So if this was around during like the Lightsworn... And like Lightsworn days or like Sheer Nui, you can just play this and then your opponent can't send anything to the grave, which is really kind of crazy if you think about it. Or you could play the other one. It's basically like a better statted version of who has it? I'm pretty sure it's Mokuba. Makuba. It's either Mokuba or. No, it's not Mokuba. It would be regular Yugi. But they have a level up that says, just banish all cards that would be sent to the graveyard. I can't remember who it was. I thought it was one of these guys. Might be, what, Sarah? Oh, dude, who has it? Is it Taya? No, she's got all the witchcrafter cards. Gosh dang it. I can't remember who it was, but... This isn't the first kind of floodgate type monster they've put in the game. And it looks like they're trying to like slowly experiment with this kind of monster. Like, it's not uh, a Thunder King Ryo, but we're getting closer and closer to it. Uh, so, the, just like these somewhat weak normal summons that will stun your opponent. So, we saw that like with Quarantine before. It was really, really degenerate for, uh, for Noble Knights to try to play through, but... It just seems weird, like, why are you putting this in the game? It's not in an archetype, it's not, like, please just keep this out of the game. I don't want these random floodgates. Anyways, next, uh, Gen X Ally Vulcana Vulcanon. Once per turn, you can send one face-up fire Gen X monster you control to the graveyard to select one face-up monster your opponent controls, destroy it, and inflict damage to your opponent equal to the level of the destroyed monster times 200. So overall, not very good. Uh, I, I don't really even want to talk about it. It's really bad. The next card is Labyrinth of Klein. This is actually a pretty interesting card. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, target the attacking monster to negate the attack. And if you do, switch the original attack and defense of that monster until the end of next turn. Really, really good free-to-play trap card. This is probably one of the best free-to-play spells or traps we've gotten in a long long time and it's just the free negate attack and then you get to switch the attack and defense which isn't always relevant but when you're playing like back in like the Shiri Nui format that was actually really really relevant so it's honestly a good card to get three of especially for free to player budget just slap this in a deck it's protection it's pretty good so overall the three main cards I want you to look at from these two new events is get your dimension fortress weapon it's really degenerate that means it's good Labyrinth of Klein, which is a, just a very good free-to-play trap card, as well as make sure you get your second copy of Soundproofed. This card is absolutely insane. Make sure you get it. And I think that's just about it for me. Uh, I'm going to head on out of here. Thank you so much for stopping by the Dueling Entertainment channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when we upload. Get in the Discord because it's free. New player help is free. Tournaments are free. Make sure you check out the Twitch. That's where we host the tournaments. It's awesome. That's where we have new player streams. That's where this sweet haircut happened. But with that, I think I'm going to head on out of here. And thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time.